Hey guys, it's Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I have here the HTC One X. I know that you guys have probably just gone out and bought this guy, and you're looking for case protection, and probably within the past two weeks you've got this guy. It's pretty awesome now that the bootloader is now unofficially unlocked by the awesome people over at XDA. So get ready for putting custom ROMs on this thing. It's going to be really awesome. But as far as protection, I do have an option here, which is... Bam, right there. This is the OtterBox commuter case. And this is a pretty good option. I'm gonna open this up and put it on and show you guys what I think and as in regards to protection. Let's see. Here we are. So it is late at night. I'm trying not to be too loud and I don't really have a voice at the moment because I still am sick. But one thing to point out is that OtterBox.com charges, what is it, $34.95 for the case? And at AT&T, it's $40 for the case. Now, I'm not sure if OtterBox actually charges shipping, in which case it would probably balance out. But still, just to keep in mind from the beginning, is that AT&T charges a little bit more for the case than the actual website does. And the case at AT&T comes only in this blue shell. I've even looked online with the black silicone layer, whereas if you go to OtterBox.com, you can actually get the one that's all black. And I really would prefer the all black one, so... With my 30-day test-out period, I'll probably return this and <laughs> go to otterbox.com and get it from there. But this is a really nice, solid-fitting case. Let's see if we can get this silicone layer out. It is dual-layer protection. And, of course, that always adds an extra layer for shock absorption, so that's extremely important. So, this case is a little bit gimmicky, and you want to be careful putting it on. The reason being is that... This guy here doesn't really have a bezel. Let's see if we can get it nice and up close there. It's not quite zoomed in, but you can see that the plastic ends and then the actual glass jets upward. So if you're pushing on that, it, it puts a little bit of stress on the LCD screen underneath the glass. So I'm going to show you hopefully the best way to install this and take it off without killing your phone. So uh, this part is pretty self-explanatory and isn't going to hurt your phone. So you've got that nice silicone casing on. Almost feels nice enough to hold it in a pocket with just the silicone because it does fit very nicely. Well, it's a little flimsy here, but otherwise it fits really nice on the corners. Now when you're putting on the plastic part, this is where you really want to be careful. I find that the best way to do this is to take your power button and this little guy here which covers your standard headphone jack. Line that up first and it's good to put the biggest piece which is your volume rocker into its little uh, compartment here. So then don't put, don't be too careful about it but immediately I would say lift up the bottom here and just start pushing it in. And this is where the tough part comes is that as soon as you push this guy downward Oh, that's another thing, is that it actually puts stress on the power button, so I just turned off my phone. That's nice. But uh, be careful with this part, because it does like to push on your screen as you're putting it on. So let's see if we can get that without too much stress. I kind of just lifted it, up, lifted it up a bit. I do notice that sometimes when I'm doing this, I do see a little bit of the distortion on the LCD screen. And it likes to do this ridiculousness here. So let's get that sorted hopefully. There we go. Just a little bit of a push and that sorted that out. And this guy here, you're going to want to give this a lift, pull it up. And there you are. That fits. Oh, heh. turn itself back on. Very, very nice. So make sure that this is situated everywhere. The first thing that I noticed when putting on this case is that the camera hole here never quite lines up exactly. And I'm sure that has to do with putting the actual silicone on and having this guy kind of warped and distorted when you're putting on the plastic. But it doesn't cause any issues with the flash or with the camera itself, so I'm not too worried about that. It was just something that annoyed me a little bit. And this is a little bit off-center as well. It makes me wonder if this was for the uh, quad core version and not for the AT&T version or the XL which is Rogers Canadian version as well 
but all in all it does fit pretty well uh, immediately I really do like how this feels in hand and it's extremely solid feeling no creaking nothing like that so if you see up here that uh, I do have a screen protector on. One of the issues with the HTC One X is that not only does the screen jut upward, but it also is curved a bit. So screen protectors don't always go to the edge. So when you are using this case, you're never gonna have a problem with it pushing your screen protectors or ruining those. Just for the fact that if you get a screen protector that was custom made for this phone, it's, it's never gonna go all the way to the edge. So that's nice, I guess, kind of a catch 22. It does cover a little bit of the glass, you can see here on all sides, and I find that reassuring. It's really, really nice fit. So as far as ports, you can see that it leaves a little space open for your microphone, and when you open the little flap, you can see that there's the headphone jack, and this just keeps dirt and whatnot from getting into any of those ports, keeps them nice and clean. It does give a nice, secure, clicky feeling. So I really do like that. I wasn't too happy with the power button at first because I realized that you had to really mash it down to turn on the power. But once you start getting a feel for that power button, there, there really isn't any issue. I think I was just pushing too much at the top or maybe it's gotten worn in now, but I am not having any issue. It was just something that I noticed at first. Now, this one as well, this is nice because it covers, this is just your charging port here. So everything is covered, everything is nicely fitted, except for the fact that it's just a couple millimeters off here and there. But that doesn't cause any issues with any of the use of the case. Uh, would I trust dropping my phone in this case? I would say so. There you go. That was me abusing my expensive product. You know, I've just kind of flipped it around and not had any issues with it. Of course, it does have a lip. Since it is raised, you can feel free to take your phone and set it down. Now, since it is just plastic, it does have a nice matte finish, but it's not grippy in any way. So I've been sitting at my university campus at my desk, and I realized that you got to have it set face down, like so, because... Of course, there's always a little bit of an incline on those desks, and I wasn't paying attention to the phone like this on the desk, and well, it's just plastic, no grippiness, so it just slid off and hit the floor. And you know, it protected it very, very well. I'm gonna open this, take this off, and I'm gonna show you that it's uh, a little bit gimmicky to take off, but not too much of an issue once you know how. But inside, it's nice because there's actually shock absorption in each of these corners. So even though they're exposed here, it's not any issue. So let's uh, show you how we take this guy off. Well, I just remember the first time I was messing around with this case, I was not too happy about how hard it was to get off. So I'm going to present you guys with a easy way to take it off right now. So get your, I just cut my fingernails. I probably shouldn't have, but I know you guys don't have long fingernails anyway so the best thing to do is to take your nubs or whatever you've got and get it underneath here and take your thumb and press it against the back like so so that actually pulls this outward then you want to go to this side of the phone where you have your volume rocker this is basically how you've started and push upward as well and then really what you're gonna do is just push up and out on this guy. Now this helps when you have fingernails. Let's see, so watch this. Oop, see? Solid push. Then really don't delay, just pull it out. You don't want to cause any extra stress by being ooh too careful. But you can see that that's it's a pretty reliable way of getting it off. Otherwise you're gonna be causing a lot of damage to your poor fingers, which I probably already did. But anyway, so taking it off, it's not any issue with the silicone. So as I was saying that it does give a little bit of shock absorption on those sides there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. You can see it has little ridges there and there. Same thing at the two top corners here and here. So that does give a little bit of a shock absorption. That's really what that does in effect. One thing to note is that this phone is just a nice matte finish on the back. Now when you have phones that are a matte finish like that, it can cause some marking. I did do notice that this case does cause a little bit of marking on the matte finish, 
but luckily I went and got a wet cloth and had wiped down the phone and those markings had gone away. I don't know if you can actually see them. There's an outline here. It was pretty bad. You can see the uh, also that shock, shock absorption design on here. And they do seem to go away, so I'm not too worried about that. But I guess if you aren't careful and you get grit or whatever sitting in that silicone, that it would probably leave marks on the back of your phone. So that's just something to keep in mind. But this is a very nice fitting case and extremely, extremely protective. And I do enjoy this. This is a case that I feel like I can just toss my phone into and it's not going to have any issue if I drop it, as I did tell you and I, it did fall off my desk so really good case option I just wish that AT&T didn't have to boost price prices up on everything but that's retail for you right the number one thing to say about this case first and foremost is that it gives a very nice sturdy strong protection without being too bulky I do I'm a girl okay and I have tight fitting jeans and I can still fit this in my pocket just fine. So rest assured you guys are going to have this in your pockets and not feel really any additional bulk. So I really love that about this case. This would be my number one go to case if I was going to be going anywhere such as quadding or if I was going to go hiking or if I was going to go biking anywhere where I feel like I might come into danger with my case or if I just feel like snapping it and flipping it on the desk because I'm bored in class. This is the one to go with, you guys. This is very, very nice. And what I love is that most cases don't do this one fatal thing, is that this camera is protruding upward. Thanks, HTZ. Interesting design choice. Maybe it gives you more ability to put the lenses how you'd like and make it more advanced in that way. But I don't like protruding cameras. So you can see that the plastic part here actually covers the protruding camera plastic part. So that's nice, is that now I can place it down without having to worry. Because I do see a lot of cases that stop short and leave the most important part, arguably, of your phone just exposed. Hello? Yeah, not too smart. But you see OtterBox keeps you guys in mind. And look at that, that's nice. And it's nice thick amount of plastic too. So you guys are well protected and it doesn't really cause any more thickness either. So I, <laughs> this is a nice case, you guys, pretty awesome. As far as d durability of this case, I am sure that this is gonna last you for a good long time. And the AT&T version at least gives you a limited warranty for one year and I know that Otterbox does that as well so it doesn't really matter who you go with but very very sturdy I do notice that at the top here that this silicone starts to get stretched a little bit you can see that especially at this point that it uh it stretches a little bit over time and I think that's something that I would uh probably have it returned for over warranty if it starts to cause any issues with fitting and kind of bunching along the glass. But other than that, it's been very nice so far and I've been pretty much putting it through its paces over the past couple of weeks now. So no worries, this is a great case. Just be careful again with the screen and I don't think you'll have any issues. So I don't know if I have anything else to tell you guys other than just be careful and uh, follow my instructions and recommendations when you are applying this case so that you don't cause any issues with pressing on your LCD screen and such. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff and I will be back with you again for another review. See you guys and good night.